In this video, you will learn what to do when stuck with a bad youth sports coach. Question, do you have any tips to help an athlete get through a season when they're stuck with a bad coach? Overly critical, aggressive, demeaning, etc. So the athlete doesn't lose the confidence they've always had? Answer, yes. I often see athletes in this predicament. The secret is in appreciating the fact that the difficult coach pushes you into seeking some help and building mental toughness and having the opportunity to practice it in real life. See, I've actually run into many athletes who go through years of nothing but good coaches, and they never have that opportunity to develop that mental strength because they never really needed it. And then when the game is on the line or they finally do run into a tough coach, they fold from that type of pressure. You know, aggressive coaches, you know, they should be taken like as a wake-up call that there are such people in the world and that we all have to deal with them. And when you get one, it's time to get serious about developing your internal confidence. You know, to be able to thrive in those situations, it's gonna happen. Having a bad coach is just a story you tell yourself that makes you feel bad and it doesn't need to be. Instead, you can tell yourself the story about your coach in such a way that having this coach is going to make you a better athlete and a tougher person. <laughs> Additionally, you know, really demeaning coaches to give the athlete and the parent, if that's the case, an opportunity to learn how to stand up for themselves and draw boundaries you know, by calling the coach out through successive levels of authority in the, in the organization starting right there with the coach. Very valuable lessons for life can be acquired by having such a difficult coach. Yeah, I know it's no fun being on a team in the midst of this, but guess what? Life is going to throw us all sorts of curveballs like this, isn't it? Things aren't always fair. Better to learn these life lessons in a relatively safe environment under your parental guidance and support. Parents, this is your opportunity to connect with your young athlete and help them get through it. Give them useful perspectives and, and help them see a bigger picture or a longer term view of themselves. Sports isn't just about having fun. Prepare them for this before the season. That's the key. <laughs> You know what? Young athletes, they do understand this because they willingly do all their drills and practices and workouts that aren't always fun when they need to prepare for competition. They get that. You'd be surprised at how some kids really step up under such tough challenges like this. So can the kid uh, who's stuck with a bad coach, you know, get himself still fired up and, and vow to prove the coach wrong by working even harder through this experience? Can she focus more on making friends with the other teammates and maybe being a great cheerleader for the others? Can you help a young athlete learn the value of patience when getting a bad coach? By the way, nothing is bad except that thinking that makes it so. <laughs> One season with a bad youth sports coach does not make or break a career or a person or a season or nothing. Actually, it doesn't break anything. It can actually turn out to be a blessing in disguise. Let's do this. I'm Craig Sigal, your mental toughness trainer.